Hello everyone, this is Alina from Odessa. Sorry for being so late uh, that I didn't get in contact with you. Mm, there was so much happening um, these days and um, I couldn't get into the right mood to film and I'm not very good in filming, I'm just learning. So mm, two weeks ago I experienced something that I was really shocked about and though it's a really really embarrassing to say I don't want to tell you and my husband asked not to tell you but as I choose to be absolutely honest with you I think maybe it will help better understanding for you and me so just to, uh, you, to let you know that um, I'm a well-educated probably over-educated person with dignity and self-respect so what I've experienced was a really big shock for me uh, I'm living in Odessa city it's not just a village it's not just a cottage I live in 9th floor building average Ukrainian apartment uh, on the first floor some of them would call it ground floor but not underground floor so there was a little disaster two weeks ago when our main uh, tube for uh, water waste was clogged it was uh, absolutely blocked and for five hours all the flushing toilets from nine uh, stores uh, above us were flushing uh, right into our bathroom I've shoot a little video how it started I will show it to you so this is how it looked when it started and by the end um, of this period there were um, almost two inches of water with sheet all over our bathroom floor I couldn't film it uh, in the end because when it started my husband he just uh, locked me in the most distant room uh, and was fighting with problem by himself I mean uh, calling the plumbers and uh, expecting them and calling them again because it wasn't very f uh, uh, quick arrival and they didn't come directly to our apartment instead of that they go to basement and try to fix it and uh, it's all complicated because uh, at this time the danger uh, alarm uh, signal is screaming all over the city oh i was so scared that they will just go away and um, leave us with all this shit literally uh, so i was very glad when it was all over and uh, we gave them little extra money for being so brave to work in such a difficult um, uh, time and um, I uh, could hear my husband coughing all of the time he was coughing so hard because it was all stinking you can't imagine how it was terrible and it's not only mm, stinking it's uh, toxic to breathe uh, all this stuff that f goes from all flush toilets from the whole building he's a hero for me that he kept me on the distance uh, locked in the rooms when he was cleaning all that stuff after plumbers left and I felt so sorry for him because I thought he would vomit it was really terrible it was disgusting he did almost 
all by himself. I helped him a little bit in the end, wearing gloves and still feel disgusted. But it has to be done because nobody will do it instead of you. And in this difficult time, you know, when we have war, like uh, this wasn't enough problems for us. And another thing happened when I was cleaning um, and uh, getting some stuff from the um, balcony that we use, like a storage room. I usually keep some plastic things uh, there, n not uh, much food, just few packs of um, sugar and uh, I could um, discover lots of mice shit uh, all over the balcony. I didn't expect that. Also lots of this uh, specific smell not very pleasant and they couldn't find lots of food there they just bitten and torn packs of sugar that I kept there but I guess it wasn't uh, so tasty for them if it would be grains or seeds or any other nuts or any other food so we have mice also and that was another unpleasant surprise for me because you know I've seen mice when I was in the village with my grandparents and I'm not living in the village now. So why we have mice? It's, it's not normal. And I'm telling this uh, to you um, so you can better uh, understand me when I say uh, as unpleasant it was to clean the bathroom when you are all disgusted and uh, all you feel is revulsion mm. uh, the same uh, the same feeling uh, I um, had when I uh, when all of us all Ukrainians were asked by our governments to help uh, fighting in informational war that Russia does uh, against uh, the whole Ukraine. We were asked to try to get in contact uh, with the Russian people that we know or that we don't know just to spread truth because you know they're all brainwashed there and they see only lies and propaganda on TV. <sighs> and I don't believe this is uh, possible to convince people that um, were brainwashed for more than 20 years um, that were raised and taught to hate Ukrainians and, and not only Ukrainians, they hate many nations, you may believe me. So uh, I tried a little bit and I uh, so so much uh, shit in comments uh, uh, against Ukraine so much dirt I felt like almost physically dirty uh, contacting them uh, I just I just couldn't do it uh, some of Ukrainian try and mm, they're not succeeding also because you know lots of aggression are is against people that um, trying to bring the truth to Russians that don't see anything except the propaganda TV. This is why I feel much more comfortable talking to you in English with civilized people uh, because I just I just take uh, too close to heart. Uh, I take very much personally uh, all this um, negative, all this hatred uh, to Ukrainians uh, from Russians. Uh, I just couldn't do it. it, it it's, it's too much for me. I just can't bear it. And another unpleasant uh, thing to say, um, 
you will hear me speaking a lot about um, heroes and um, I think it's important to speak about how people show their best uh, best in them in such uh, difficult times uh, when Ukraine is all united and uh, fighting and doing whatever any of us can do to uh, gain this victory. Mm. Uh, I hate to say that, but unfortunately, uh, there are uh, not only good Ukrainians, there are bad people in Ukraine also, and as in any other country in the world, there are good, bad people everywhere. So some of people are uh, collaborating with Russian invaders, uh, contacting them on messengers, sending them pictures and uh, uh, positions of our Ukrainian warriors and um, addresses of uh, vital important buildings in our cities to help them, to help Russians correct their fire uh, and uh, shell bombs uh, to these buildings. Uh, I, I know these people are traitors, they are criminals, they must um, be arrested immediately. And it's, it's just so disgusted to think about that, what they're doing for money or some of them are doing this because they're so devoted to these um, ideas uh, that they got through Russian TV that is um, somehow avail still available in Ukraine through satellite TV uh, that cannot be blocked. And uh, some people are just uh, being stupid and uh, they uh, maybe unintentionally but help our enemy with in this information war uh, spreading fake news and um, sharing uh, fake pictures in social medias and messengers without even checking the information without even thinking how unlogical and unreasonable this inform this fake information is it's hard to deal with them also because uh, when you try to be reasonable with them, uh, they just being hateful to you and it's unpleasant also. So another example, uh, uh, I've heard that maybe some uh, people that left Ukraine and move to other uh, countries like Poland, like Moldova and others that uh, were running from their cities with the kids, for example, and they behave badly in uh, the, the, play, the new places they arrived, like they behaving selfish and ungrateful and um, expecting uh, too much from people that really don't owe anything to them but trying to help sincerely and sharing what they have thank you to Polish people to people from Moldova from all the countries that help uh, Ukrainians right now I hope that uh, Ukrainians will be very grateful to you and helping to other Ukrainians uh, like uh, vo volunteering to help to be extra pair of hands uh, instead of uh, expecting serving from people that they come uh, to and I really hope they will um, all be grateful for what you're doing to them uh, how much you help, how much you give to them. Um, I appreciate all this and I hope they appreciate this too and that they are not lazy, not just 
uh, having fun but try to help uh, other Ukrainians as much as possible try to be useful I hope I will not talk about such bad things again but unfortunately our life is not always good there are bad moments in it also and thank you for your time I hope we will talk about uh, nicer things next time and um, we try to be strong thank you for your support have a nice day goodbye thank you